Welcome to all grade 7. Welcome in your lesson 2. Problems involving set. Or this is the application of the Venn diagrams. Well, Venn diagram is very important or very useful, especially in organizing different informations in such problems. Let's try number one. In a survey among 64 grade 7 students, the following information were gathered. 45 have Facebook accounts. 49 have Twitter accounts. 42 have both Facebook and Twitter accounts. First question, how many students did not have any social media account? Second, how many students have Facebook accounts only? We're going to solve that using the Venn diagram. Notice that in our given or in our problem, we have two different categories. We have the Facebook accounts and the Twitter accounts. That's why in our Venn diagram, we have two circles. Let us name the first circle be the Facebook category. And the other circle is for the Twitter. So working backward tayo. So let's give a binanggit I 42 have both Facebook and Twitter accounts. So saan natin nilalagay si 42? Meron daw siyang Facebook at saka Twitter. So ito ay maliwanag na nasa intersection ng dalawang set. So isusulat natin si 42 sa intersection nilang dalawa. Second information, 49 have Twitter accounts. So sa Twitter, may 49 donate students. So yung 49, inalis natin dun sa intersection. So 49 minus 42, that is 7. So isusulat natin yung 7 ngayon dito. Ito lang yung mga isudyante na may Twitter accounts lang. Next, meron tayong 45 have Facebook accounts. So 45 minus 42, that is 3. So, 3 yung lalagay natin dito. 60 grades, 64 grade 7 students have surveyed. So, dapat ang total natin sa ating diagram ay 64. So, i-add na natin yung mga isudyante na nandito. So, 3 plus 7, that is 10, plus 42, 52. So, 64 minus 52, that is 12. So yung 12 natin ngayon ay nasa labas. Bakit nasa labas? Yan yung mga isudyante na wala silang Facebook account at wala din silang Twitter account. Proceed tayo ngayon sa questions. How many students did not have any social media accounts? So, maliwanag na yan yung na nasa labas ng dalawang circle, which is 12. Next, how many students have Facebook accounts only? Facebook accounts only? Three. So, ganun yung pag-solve gamit ang Venn diagram. Kapag meron tayong two categories. Paano kapag meron na tayong three categories? In a survey of children who watched three different Walt Disney animated films, the following information was gathered. 39 children like Inside Out. 43 children like Zootopia. 56 children like Moana. 7 children like Inside Out and Zootopia. 10 children like Inside Out and Moana. 16 children like Zootopia and Moana. 4 ch children like Inside Out, Zootopia, and Moana. 6 children did not like any of the shows. 
Question number one. How many students were surveyed? Number two. How many liked Inside Out only? Number three. How many liked Zootopia only? And number four. How many liked Moana only? So in that case, we have three categories. We have the Inside Out. Let's say our first circle is the inside out. This is our Venn diagram. Second will be the Zootopia. Zootopia. And third will be the Moana. Working backwards, we're going to start at the bottom. Six children did not like any of the shows. So, ayaw niya sa kanilang tatlo. So, ilalagin natin siya sa labas ng mga circles. Ayan. Second, four children like Inside Out, Zootopia, and Moana. So, gusto niya silang tatlo. So, ilalagin natin siya dito sa intersection ng tatlo. So, four daw yan. Nakuha? Next. Sixteen children like Zootopia and Moana. So, gusto niya lang ng Zootopia at Moana. So, ito yun. Zootopia at Moana. Pero since meron tayong four dito, dun sa sixteen, ilalas natin si four. So, ito ay ilalagay na lang natin ay 12. Kasi 12 plus 4, 16. Next, 10 children like Inside Out and Moana. Inside Out and Moana. 10 daw yun. So, 10, ilas natin dito sa intersection nila na 4. So, 10 minus 4, 6. Next, seven children like Inside Out and Zootopia. Inside Out and Zootopia, seven daw sila. Kaso may four na tayo dito, three na lang susulat natin. Next tayo, 56 children like Moana. 56 ang may gusto kay Moana. So sa 56 na yun, nilalest natin si 6. So 50 na lang. 50, so sulat natin kay Moana, 56 daw, ililess natin itong mga nandito sa intersections. Minus 6, minus 4, minus 12. So 56 minus 6, 50, minus 4, 46, 46 minus 12, 34. So, sulit natin dito si 34. Next tayo kay Zootopia. 43 like Zootopia. Zootopia, 43. Ilalas natin yung mga nasa intersection. Minus 3. Minus 4. Minus 12. Solve natin. 43 minus 3, 40. Minus 4, 36. Minus 12, 24. Sulat natin dito si 24. Next. 39 like inside out. So 39. So sa inside out, ilalas natin. Inside out, 39 minus 3, minus 4, minus 6. Yung mga nasa intersection. 39 minus 3, 36, minus 4, 32, minus 6, 26. So, sa so 26, ilalagay natin siya dito kay inside out now. First question natin, how many students were surveyed? So, ilan daw lahat ang na-survey? So, i-add natin lahat ng number natin dito sa ating Venn diagram. So, kay 
Kay Moana tayo. Alam natin na kay Moana, ang nasurvey lahat kay Moana is 56. 56, add natin si 24. So, 56 plus 24 plus 3 plus 26. Then, yung nasa labas na 6. So, ilan lahat yan? 6, 12, 15, 19, 25. So, 5, carry 2. 2 plus 5, 7. Plus 2, 9. Plus 2, 11. So, 115. So, all in all, 115 lahat ang na-survey. Next, how many like inside out only? Inside out only, so there are 26. So 26 for inside out. How many like Zootopia only? So there are 24 for Zootopia only. And how many like Moana only? So there are 30. So, ganyan kung paano mag-solve gamit ang Venn diagram. So, that is your lesson 